everybody. I just thought I'd pop on here and say hi. I'm waiting for my niece to get out of school. I gotta pick her up today and tomorrow, so. Well, let me see. Today is Thursday. Monday, I had to take my husband to Milwaukee and for his pre-op. He's having surgery on the 19th, and they want to make sure that everything is okay in order for him to do his surgery. He's going to get his fixator, which is the bar that's across his face. He's going to get that taken off, and they're going to take a bone from his leg and a vein and some skin and they're going to put it up here to replace the bone that is missing in the chin and then the skin because he has a scar that goes from the middle of his lip or not the middle but the end of his lip all the way down they're going to take the skin to replace some of the skin that's been missing here then he, they're going to, of course, the vein to attach in here. So he'll be in the hospital for a week. He's nervous, of course, and that's normal. But uh, I don't know. Uh, that's just about it that I can tell you about that. The traffic in... Milwaukee was just absolutely horrible. First of all, getting onto the highway, that was a chore and a half because this black semi almost didn't let me in. I tried to speed up to get in front of it. That didn't work because the semi decided to get in front of me, so I had to slow down. There was a car that was behind me. She's honking at me. It's not my fault. It was the semi that was not letting me in. But obviously I got in, got onto the highway. Everything was going smoothly, you know. They finally got I-94, um, the, the construction was finally done. But they still had the signs up speed limit 55, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, I got some dirty looks on that because here I'm minding the signs. I'm doing what the signs are saying. Speed limit 55, I slowed down from 75 to 55 and apparently some people didn't like that. Oh well, then they shouldn't have left the signs out there. No, apparently they didn't get a chance to get the signs out, but, well, anywho, um, it's almost time for me to go to the food pantry, so I'll be able to do that, uh, let's see, they're closed today, so I'm not going today, obviously, because I would have went already, uh, maybe tomorrow or maybe Monday. The pain in my side is gone. I no longer take aspirin that has uh, acetaminophen in it. Uh, the backache is doing better. And I think it has something to do with the weather. We did have some cool days. I'm not sure. I can't be certain. But anywho, um, that's just about it. All right, I will talk to you all later when I have a little more news. All right, have a good day. Peace, y'all. Hello again. I am coming to you from, where else? The office, the bedroom, whatever you want to call it. Well, the niece wants me to call it still her bedroom, but it's not still her bedroom physically anymore. But any who, um, my niece wanted me to have a mascot, and 
so we're going to bring out the mascot. <laughs> this is, here it comes, Nemo the mascot. Yes, lovely Nemo. There he is. He came out to say hi. Oh, kid. How are you? Let me see him. So, here is Mr. Nemo. Say hi. This mascot has been all oh, he's tired. He's dead. Nemo's dead. <laughs> this mascot has been in the family for a while now. Yeah, I'm gonna gel in them, but anyway, All right, don't squeeze too hard. The beads will come out of his mouth. Oh. And there are another <laughs> just dribble. Okay. But anyways, this is the mascot. So when I do a video, I must have Mr. Nemo here, and we, ah! we will have him. Sideways on her shoulder, pretending to be dead. Oh my god! <laughs> the mascot just rolled off! <laughs> but hit you! There you go. You wanna like it? Tell me what you think. Alright. So get Dory. No, so. no, no, you know what he 